tell me about how you guys came up with this concept for the Digimentary series. We thought that, given the, the, the topic of the book, Warren Buffett, um, was such an expansive topic that people are extremely interested in. And because we represent the author instead of the subject, we thought one of the best ways to really illustrate her enthusiasm, this is Alice Schroeder, the author of the book, to illustrate her enthusiasm, her knowledge of the concept or of the, of the topic um, was to do something with video where people could see it. So there's also such a huge interest in Warren Buffett these days, given what's going on in the markets. We thought that you know, for people who maybe don't have time to read a thousand pages uh, immediately, they might be interested in sort of seeing the video. Snowball, my honey, don't you melt away, cause your daddy like those dog brown eyes. We are at the Douglas County Historical Society where much The audience feedback has been great so far. It's, uh, I would say within the first week we already have over 15,000 views, which for something that's very niche um, and tied directly to a book, um, we think that's pretty good. But I think that there is a huge market for things like this, that's sort of the nonfiction content, video content. Um, it's not all necessarily scripted series. I mean, I think there's really something to be said about the nonfiction aspect of it. So I think PR firms like CJP and you know and other companies who want to sort of give viewers an additional behind the scenes look at maybe what they do or what they're promoting, shooting a documentary or digimentary uh, is a great way to sort of let people in on that. LOL. All right, so you're fired. Nick has sold the company to a place that sells temps. I don't think we sell temps, Paul, really. I mean, they're people. I'm Mark. Uh, I'm a Pisces. <laughs> we love CJP's been doing uh, original sort of scripted online content for probably three years now. Uh, we work with a company called Spherion, which is a temporary staffing agency. And a few years ago, we came up with the concept of doing sort of a scripted comedy called The Temp Life. Um, and that has been fairly successful. Um, the second season launched about two weeks ago, and it's, it's doing really well. We thought, you know, at the, right around when Lonely Girl was sort of, you know, when it was revealed that Lonely Girl was a fake, um, and everyone was all up in arms, I mean, we thought, you know, why not have, what's wrong with having scripted series on, on YouTube and on the other video sites? Um, and why not make it brand specific with not, without being totally in your face, but let's just have something that's relevant to the company. The PR firm is in the position of communicating the client's message, whether that's you know, through creative, you know, scripted content or, or whatever. Commodity staffing, you're not just a number, okay? You are a number with a name. Who are you talking to?